Hello everybody and welcome back to my series where we talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today we are going to talk about the early days of the Trojan War, which we don't have a ton of information on. The Iliad, as you might know, picks up 10 years in which we get like little snippets of what happened in the early days, but not a lot. So we might have to fill in some gaps as we go. Troy is a high-walled citadel, meaning that they likely were able to spot the ships coming from afar. Meanwhile, on the Greek ships, they had a seer with them named Calchas who was like five for five on his predictions so far. I don't remember how many, but he had predictions come true for them. So when he told them that the first person to touch Troy's shores would be the first person to perish in the battle, they got scared to jump off that ship. So we have Troy watching out for the Greeks headed their way, and we have the Greeks afraid to leave their ship. So when they finally landed, Odysseus had to take matters into his own hands. So when nobody was looking, he threw his shield off the ship and then jumped down onto the shield, thus not technically touching the shore. The Greeks saw him and were like, oh, he's okay, we should be fine, and started disembarking as well. The first person to actually touch the shore was this dude named Protesalius, who immediately was put into single combat with Hector and lost. Then Achilles took out some prominent Trojans, which is likely how they won the beach. I'm sure the Trojans retreated and decided to regroup once Achilles started raging out there on the battlefield. Also in the early days of the war, likely shortly after this battle, Odysseus and Menelaus were welcomed into the city so that the two sides can meet and see if there were any terms they can agree to so that they did not have to go to war. They were hosted by a Trojan elder named Antenor, who was pro-returning Helen. However, when they got to the council and demanded the return of Helen and the return of any treasure that Paris had taken, Paris had an elder paid off named Antimachus, who said, we are not returning those things, and we should take out Menelaus and Odysseus right here, which is certainly a strategy they could have done. Odysseus might not have been as missed because he has a reputation for being tricky and he's the type of dude that you want on your side you don't want to go up against. However, if they had taken out Menelaus, while that takes out the reason for war, his brother Agamemnon was out on those beaches and likely would have wanted to avenge such a disrespectful death. So I don't think that was a good option as much as they could have done it. As you can likely guess, the Greek ambassadors returned back to their camp empty-handed, which meant that the war was on. Now, strategically, the Greeks had a couple of options since they were fighting against a citadel. They could starve them out of resources, though we don't hear about resources much at all in the Iliad. Um, so no idea how the Trojans were able to survive a war for 10 years with enemies outside of their walls. And the Greeks were camped on an enemy shore. We don't really hear about their expeditions to go and retrieve supplies, but the likely answer for them is that they came to and from the shore and probably left occasionally for supplies. The Greek camp is surprisingly unfortified for being on enemy shores. However, what I would have done if I was somehow able to strategize for Troy is you have these high walls and you have skilled archers. So why not light an arrow on fire, however that works, and shoot it towards the wooden ships? Because the ships are made of wood. Like, that was an option. But what seems to keep the Trojans from messing with the camp too much is the reputation of the Greek warriors. They were actually afraid of them. So I hate to leave it here because we have to pick up 10 years later the next time I talk about Troy, but that's what I got for you. There's not really much else until we get to the wrath of Achilles at the beginning of the Iliad. Um, I'll see you tomorrow for that one. <laughs>